Hi everybody, so welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to be filming this video. Oh, I just clicked my finger. Um, but yeah, I'm super excited to be filming this video. So today I'm going to be doing my July favourites for you. Yeah, July favourites. Um, and this is the first video that I've filmed since I've been back from my holiday. Uh, if you didn't know, I have... Everyone's retweeting my tweet. Um, so if you didn't already know, I have been in Ibiza for a week and I got back almost a week ago I think but it's time is just flying so quick I don't even know what day it is um but yeah if you haven't already seen those videos there will be two Ibiza vlogs up on my that's four there'll be two Ibiza vlogs up on my channel um by now so make sure you've gone and check those out yeah so sorry if I'm in a bit of a strange mood I'm just so excited to be filming it for you. it feels like such a long time since I've sat down and actually filmed a video because so many of them I scheduled for the time that I was away in Ibiza so I haven't actually filmed in a really long time so this is just super exciting and I can't cope and I need coffee right so throughout the month of July I requ acquired required I acquired I acquired a lot of um, beauty favourites. I discovered loads and loads of new products and obviously because I was away in the sun my beauty kind of regime um, had a little bit of a switch up and I found some new products um, that I am super in love with. So the majority of this month's favourites is going to be beauty products. I've got two non-beauty favourites, actually three non-beauty favourites um, and the rest are beauty but I've got so much to show you, so much to talk about and I don't want this video to be really long and I don't want you guys to get bored so I'm just going to speed up and whiz through everything. So the first non-beauty product that I've been loving throughout the month is my new camera. This is the Canon G7X. Um, I put this on Instagram before I went away and a lot of you asked if this was going to be instead of my Canon 600D which I'm filming on currently. Um, no, it's not instead of. I literally just got this because I wanted a vlogging camera for when I went away to Ibiza. I really enjoyed vlogging. I hope you guys enjoyed the vlogs as well um, and if you did I will definitely carry on because I now have the camera to film with. So. Um, yeah, I just wanted a little handy camera that was really good quality that I can carry around because this one is really, really heavy. Next non-beauty favourite is my Nutri Bullet. Um, I'm going to try and film a clip later of me making a juice and insert it here, so hopefully that will work. Um, but yeah, I got my Nutri Bullet, I think, in June and I've just been using it the whole month throughout July. Obviously, apart from when I was on holiday, I didn't use it then. Um, but I am loving kind of drinking a smoothie slash juice every day. I put like spinach and vegetables and fruit and powders and all that kind of stuff in it and I just find it really enjoyable to make and I've actually got one now that actually tastes good and is good for you at the same time because it can be a struggle when you can taste the green vegetables because they are gross um, but yeah I've been loving my Nutri Bullet I think it's such a great investment and I'm really happy I got it oh no I have one more non-beauty favourite and this is really really lame but I'm gonna say it anyway um, obviously I went to Ibiza I went with my family a few family friends and then I went with my friend Sophie who I you will have seen in the vlogs, um, but I've known her since year seven, we've been best friends since year seven, and I just wanted to say hello because I know she watches my videos, so hi Soph if you're watching. If you're not watching this is really awkward because I'm talking to nobody. Um, but yeah, me and Soph get on so well, I've been on holiday with her before, I went with her family a couple of times to Portugal, um, and she is just one of the best friends I could ask for, and I don't want to get all like soppy and emosh, but we never talk about stuff like this, and she literally means so much to me. Um, and yeah, we had the best time on holiday, and I just love her so much, and I just wanted to tell her how much I loved her in a video in case she's watching. Hopefully she is, or, you know, that's a bit awkward. Now moving on to the fun stuff, I've got so many beauty favourites to show you um, and basically I'm just going to whiz through them because I don't want to ramble on. So I've got two fragrances that I've been loving throughout the month. The first one is probably really obvious, everybody loves this fragrance. It is Bronze Goddess by Estee Lauder. This is my holiday perfume, um, I'm just going to spritz a bit now. I wore this the whole time I was on holiday. I know whenever I smell it, it just reminds me of holiday and it's just beautiful. The packaging is beautiful, the smell is beautiful, it is just beautiful. The next um, scent that I have got is sort of a new one. I got it while Stars on Holiday, but I'm just going to talk about it anyway. Um, it is Paco Rabanne Million Cologne. Now, I don't know if this is men's or women's. Can somebody please tell me? Because I know they have Paco Rabanne Million. They have a men's and a women's one. But I got this while Stars on Holiday in like a pharmacy. Because I always smell the men's fragrance one from this range and I absolutely love it and I just thought you know what I'm gonna buy it I don't even care if it's men's I will wear it 
But now I've got this one, it says cologne on it, but then at the bottom it says eau de toilette, so I have no idea if this is men's or women's. Either way it smells great, but I would just love to know if I'm wearing a men's aftershave or whatever it is. Next up is a primer, this is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. I picked this up I think probably in June and I have been loving it. Um, I know it doesn't look like I've used very much but you honestly need the tiniest amount. Just spritz a little bit over your face before you do your makeup. I find that it does help keep my makeup in place um, but I kind of just, I really like the packaging. I know that's really bad but I just think it's so pretty and I love spritzing it over my face during the day just to freshen up my skin, add a little bit more glow back because it smells incredible and I just love it. Next is a base, um, this is the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue, you probably all knew this was coming if you follow me on Instagram because I post about this all of the time, I love it, I've already written a blog post about it so I'll leave that down below if you want to know any more information about this, but I've just been using this every day, I used it on holiday all of the time in the evenings, just to add something, I didn't want like a thick foundation um, to cover up any tan that I did get, but it just gives a little bit of something and it just makes your skin look lovely so I love this. I then got um, two products from Benefit actually, which is unusual for me because I like Benefit, I just don't ever really find myself talking about their products or kind of using their products that much, but I recently picked up the Benefit Roller Lash in the bigger size, I had the miniature one, I loved it so much I just thought, you know what, I'm going to get the big one to take on holiday with me, and I used it every day, um, I just love it, and the packaging is so cute, like, it's the cutest mascara packaging ever. Um, and it's just a really, really good mascara, so if you are looking for a more pricier mascara and you want to treat yourself, um, I definitely recommend this. And the other product from Benefit is the Hoola Bronzer. Now, I have had this for such a long time, it's got so grotty and I'm almost near the bottom. Um, and I used the little brush in it, which is so gross. Um, but basically, I used that so much on holiday because I did get a bit of a tan. I know it doesn't really look like it now. Um, it's sort of all faded, but I did actually get a pretty good tan for me. The tan I got was actually pretty good, and I was really impressed with it. But it's literally faded already, and I've only been home, like, not even a week. So it's really rubbish. But every night um, in the evenings on holiday, I use this to bronze the hair heck out of me. Um, I literally put so much bronze on every night just to make myself look a little bit more tanned but I just love it and it's such such a good bronzer. I use it for bronzer and contour so it's like a multitasker. Okay next up is a skincare favourite. This is the Clarins Radiance Plus Golden Glow Booster. What a mouthful. Um, I basically again use this every single night on holiday. You add a few drops into your moisturiser Put your moisturiser on your face like normal and you wake up in the morning and you've got a slight glow. So I just found this really helpful because as I've said before I don't really like to put my face in the sun too much just because of, I know how damaging it is for your skin. So I just use this one instead because you can't make it fake it. Why not? Next skincare product, well it's kind of like a body care product, is the Vaseline Intensive Care Aloe Soothe Body Moisturiser. I took this on holiday with me and I almost used the whole thing actually. Um, oh let's put a little bit on now. I just love it, it's just like a really basic moisturiser that you can use all over the whole of your body but it just does the job and it leaves you feeling so soft and moisturised and I just really like these moisturisers. I trust that they're really good for my skin, they do the job, they moisturise, they just, I just like it. Sort of a skincare product, this is the Frank Body Scrub. Now if you like coffee then you will love this, a bit like me, I love coffee as you can probably tell. Um, but yeah basically this is a body scrub made of coffee beans and it's got like oils and stuff in it. But let me just, oh, it sort of smells a little bit like chocolate as well. But it basically is like a big bag, <laughs> you literally can't even see. It's just a bag of cocoa slash coffee body scrub. Um, I'll leave a link below to where you can get this online but it's just been doing wonders for my skin and I use this a lot in the kind of run up to me going on holiday just because I wanted my skin in really really nice condition, get rid of any sort of pore circulation, it really helps with cellulite, things like that. Um, it just improves your skin texture and the way it looks and just leaves your skin feeling so moisturised as well and not stripped which a lot of exfoliators do. Um, but I just love it, it's got all natural ingredients, they're such a good brand and yeah like I said I'll leave the link down below, you can go and check this out if you're interested. But I would definitely recommend it, it's 
so good I'm definitely going to get another bag when I've run out. And the last thing I've got to show you is another beauty product. It is the Rimmel London Salon Pro Kate Moss um, Nail Polish in the colour Soul Session, which is just a really pretty nude. And before I went away, I didn't have any acrylics on my nails and I found myself using this all of the time. Then I got acrylics when I went away. Now I've picked them all off of my nails in terrible condition. Um, I've decided I'm going to stop getting acrylics because the place I go just, they don't seem to last on my nails and I know that they're not good for you anyway, but my nails are just in awful condition now and I just need to stop. So I'm going to try and grow them myself, even though my nails are rubbish and don't grow. Um, but yeah, this is just a really pretty nude colour and I'm probably going to paint my nails with it later because I just love it so um I found that the quality of these were really good lasted a long time and my nails didn't really chip either so really good one to pick up from the drugstore if you're looking for a new what is it nail varnish <laughs> a new nail varnish so that is it for my July favourites I tried to do that as quickly as possible but like I said I'll leave any blog posts about any of these products down below so you can read up a little bit more just because I don't want to go on too much in this video um, but I do hope you enjoyed the video I hope you had a lovely July let me know down below in the comments if you did anything fun in July because I would really like to know um, make sure you've watched my holiday vlogs because I'm really happy with the way they turned out and I just really want you all to see them so Yes, um, I had a great holiday. I cannot believe that July is over and is now August. That pretty much means it's the end of summer. And that is a horrible thought, but time just goes so quick. Um, but yes, thank you so much for watching and I will see you all soon with another video. Bye! They tan that well, so... Oh, I don't know what happened there. God, I love coffee. I do actually feel like, no, I was gonna say it's helped keep my tan, but I really don't think that's true.